And the only time they would ever interact with the Quran is on a special occasion. Is that true or not? Number two scenario. The Quran for blessings. When a person is about to die or has died, that's when the Quran comes out. This person, even if he was a wicked man or a woman, you know what? Bring out the Quran. Let us recite some Quran. It has barakah. It is blessed. This person will benefit from it. And on top of that, so many innovative traditions have been made over the passing of a person reciting the Quran. And this is the only time they ever touch the Quran. When someone has to die, subhanallah. وَقِيلَ مَنْ رَاقْ As Allah says in Surah Al-Qiyamah. When death is coming to the person, everyone becomes religious. قِيلَ مَنْ رَاقْ It is said, where is the raqi? The one who's going to recite the Quran. Everyone knows when it comes to death, you need the Quran. Scenario number three. The Quran for remedy. When someone's ill, all medicine has failed, bust out the Quran. Isn't it? Or maybe when your child, he was doing so well in school. You know when it came to the GCSEs, A stars, A levels, he's failing. There must be a jinn somewhere. Call the Raqi. This is the time we need the Quran to cure this black magic. And this is the only time they will bring out the Quran at the last possible moment. Or maybe go one step better than this, for prevention is better than cure. So take the Quran and write it on some paper, put it in a little pouch, rear view mirror. Or better still, put it around my neck. Prevention. And the fourth scenario, and subhanAllah, the fourth scenario is the best of the four. Is the person reads the Quran in order to gain reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because the Prophet sallallahu told us in a hadith report by Ibn Mas'ud, Shaykh al-Bani rahimahullah said, it's authentic. Man qara harfan min kitabillah falahu hasana wal hasanatu asharatu amthaliha. That whoever recites one letter of the Quran, he will be given a hasana. Wal hasanatu bi ashri amthaliha. And one hasana is like that of ten. But subhanallah. Scenario number four. Is it living up to the mark? Why the Quran was revealed? If I was to ask you a frank question, my brothers and sisters, why was the Quran revealed to us? Why did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala send it down to mankind? Why? Was it in order to read it on special occasions? For blessings? For cure? Or just for reward? Was it for one of these four? Was it for all of these four? Was it for something more than this? This Question is answered in the Quran itself. Allah will tell us why He revealed the Quran. And you will be shocked that it was not for any one of these reasons. Allah says in Surah Sa'd, read it today, verse number 29. Kitabun anzalnahu ilayka mubarak liyadabbaru ayatihi wa liyatadakkara ulul albab. Subhanallah. This verse, Allah tells us not one, but two reasons why He revealed the Qur'an. And not any of them is from the four that I have just mentioned before. Allah says, firstly, in praise of the Qur'an. Kitabun, a book, anzalnahu ilayka, sent down to you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, mubarak, full of blessings. You know when something has barakah, its goodness is more than expected. And when something has barakah, his goodness lingers on. You see, one of the things, one of the biggest challenges for us in the Quran is that we feel, either consciously or subconsciously, that the Quran is not relevant to my life. This is the reality. We feel that the Quran it speaks about the big things. It doesn't speak about my life, what I go through, and what I need. And this is something we will come to.